hello guys good morning and welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video i'm starting today's vlog somewhere brand new i'm at a place called studio 34 for some reformer pilates now i've always had i swear the last two or three new year's resolutions is try reformer pilates so finally this year i've thought you know what this studio is open not too far from me it looks beautiful i'm gonna go solo nervous we'll see how we get on it's only like a 45 minute class as well so i feel like enough to a good starter you know i'm not like th being thrown in the deep end with like a two hour session or anything it's like a nice hopefully enjoyable 45 minutes this morning to start off this vlog and then i'm going to spend the rest of the day pretty much at home today i've got a few updates few deliveries few things to share with you so let's get going and let's see what reform Pilates is and what I think about it and how rubbish potentially I am at it. Got my hydration and let's go. Hey, I wish you could see yourself just sitting there okay we are done and that was amazing i really enjoyed it it was hard <laughs> i'm not gonna lie my legs are shaking but the thing that made me most at ease as well was that i think there were only one or two people that had done it there before so i was like okay i'm not the only beginner which was quite a relief so it's more a case of like not knowing um you know like how the bed works for instance like getting to grips with that but uh yeah it was really she was really helpful i have got grippy socks on but i did also buy a pair because love the color of these but yeah you need these kind of like grippy socks to do it um and you can buy them at the studio for 10 pounds but the ones i got on amazon they were uh, 9.99 for one pair so now i've got two pairs that should that should last me but i can wear them for yoga as well which is good but anyway, I am going to just actually call Tom and see if he wants me to pick something up because I think a shop here has something for him. So if they do, I'll run in and grab that before heading back home. And I'm thinking, after doing that this morning, I'm feeling like a baked oats breakfast. I did do a recipe in a previous vlog if you wanted to see it, but something like that for my breakfast, I feel like, well, brunch, it's half 11 already. Let me call Tom. You don't even know it. Um, back home I've just switched out actually some flowers still had some left over from Valentine's which I need to wash that vase beautiful but they were done so I switched them out to some fresh tulips I just feel like tis the season she says as it's raining outside <laughs> to have tulips in the house and these are just beautiful like all white they don't really smell of anything. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Literally nothing. Um, but they're pretty. Super, super pretty. Nice and simple. And I've just popped them on the table there. This bunch as well was a treat of £5 from Asda. So, yeah. Super affordable. They had some in M&S as well. I've just bopped. Bopped? <laughs> popped by M&S on route back. They had some in there, but they were all multicoloured. They weren't just like all white ones so um yeah loads in there as well but yeah i thought for now i'm just gonna go with the all white as i said i did go via eminence and just picked up a couple of bits this the first purchase is incredibly naughty the baking this afternoon i'm gonna do it like an easter bake but this is put to one side for easter by the way if you've not tried this we had this one last year it's delicious they do these biscuits ordinarily um 
just like normal sized biscuits that a bit like the Fox's ones, Fox's chocolatey browns, whatever they're called. I still to this day, hand on heart, favorite biscuit ever is the ultimately chocolatey covered custard creams that they do. I know they do bourbons as well, but the custard cream ones especially for me. I can't tell you how hard it was to resist not buying some this time, but I thought, no, I'll get this, save that for Easter, do the Easter bake this afternoon. We're all about balance here as well, so I picked up a salad for lunch, just this avocado feta and grain salad is one of my favorites that they do. And then I also just got, because that's more for me, but for Tom I've got some eggs and a fresh, Oh, this does smell good. Fresh sourdough. So yeah, you can have that for lunch. I might even have that for my lunch as well and then eat that tonight for my dinner. Yeah, I think I will do that because I am feeling like if I buy fresh bread, I want to eat it whilst it's fresh. It was warm when I picked it up. It's cooled down now, but it was warm. Anyway, that's my little M&S haul. I'm going to take you... Well, let me just unload the dishwasher actually first and then I've got those like housey bits I wanted to unbox and share with you as well. Some very exciting purchases. <laughs> just coming in our front room because I have a couple of deliveries that I wanted to share with you which you may have seen from my previous vlog like how I ended off the vlog I mentioned that I had a delivery from Home Barn which is possibly one of the most exciting homeware deliveries ever I really need to go and pay Home Barn a visit I just feel like it's me in a shop the rustic, earthy, <sighs> pots, kitchenware, tables, decorations, furniture, everything about that shop is me, like is my love. <laughs> it's not a budget option this one, um, Home Barn is a little pricey, although having said that the quality is there to, you know when you get rustic, older, reclaimed pieces if they need restoring, there's a lot of um, cost involved in that usually. So these kind of come already pre-done, treated, whatever it needs to be for you. So I did order a coffee table. I also ordered for downstairs and utility a bench and a washboard. I'll show you them now. Oh my God, I'm just so happy with it. So this is our brand new coffee table from Home Barn absolutely in love with it for now i've just kind of played around with the styling of it but this is one of those things i'll probably end up switching it out quite a lot but just to show you the table itself these tables and the furniture that they do as you can tell super super imperfect rustic you've got huge knots and grooves and um like scratches across it which I personally love the more rustic the better but it is smooth to the touch that obviously you can polish and you know have um have things styled up on this so yeah the uh coffee table that we've gone for it is quite small for this space I was gonna look at a bigger one but the the ones that they had that were bigger I think probably would have been a bit too big so for now this is what we're working with and I am thinking, I know a lot of you love these sofa and chair combo and I do, but I am thinking future to potentially switch these out for deeper, softer. So these are quite a firm seat, which I know a lot of people love and it's just personal preference, but in this room I feel like I want something a bit slouchier, a bit deeper, one that we can really kind of 
sit back into whilst the fire's on and movie's on and yeah we can just put our feet up so this at the minute is a bit too firm for that kind of a sofa so if we do end up getting a bit of a deeper sofa um or like chair here or whatever we end up doing then it does mean that having a slightly smaller coffee, ta coffee table is fine so anyway let me just show you how i've styled it up for now Ooh, she's just so cute ignore the uh artwork in the background we need to get um someone to come and hang a load of prints for us in fact i've got some trove prints that i can pop in here in these two frames which are going to go uh either side of the chimney breast just under the wall lights anyway i keep digressing okay let me show you the styling of this for now just got a couple of coasters i've popped a candle on one but these are my amazon purchases my amazon finds which i will leave linked below i'll leave as much as i can linked for you like some of my favorite coffee table books are amazon as well in fact pretty much all of them i get from amazon so Again, we'll leave these two linked below. The Kinfolk Home and the Kinfolk Table. Candle. This one is from Delta Farm. It is the kindling one. So it smells, I want to say, very woody, smoky, which is perfect for... Just give it a little whiff. Which is perfect for the room with the log burner. Another Amazon recent purchase. This is a uh, charity shop find. In fact, I still have the label in it. Where was it from? Three pounds. Oh, you can't tell where it's from, but yeah. I think it was maybe Sue Ryder, I'm not sure. And then I just have this little faux plant from Ikea just kind of sat in there. So I need to take that label off. But this is also a secondhand find that I got from the Quarry Bank Mill National Trust. They've got a um, couple of pre-loved bookshops in there. So I found this one for four pounds. Just took off the cover that was hiding this beautiful gold illustration on this kind of like olive green book so yeah we have that there um and then excuse all the mess here tom's just having a huge like vintage sale and clear out these are my trove prints so we can do that in a second actually we can pop the prints in these frames and we have the brick mold from that uh shop in elderly Ed, which i showed in my last vlog as well so i'm going to take that through to the kitchen and pop some herbs in there and then these are the other purchases that i made from the home barn so we've got this vintage washboard and i'm going to have a huge organize of my uh utility room clear out sort out re-jig we've got a little bench down there that i'm going to get rid of and replace it with this because i just prefer the more rustic look so i'm going to pop this this was let's see if we've got the label still on it called atticus it was called so this is the third and final home barn purchase that I made. So that's gonna go in the utility room. And I've got a pegboard the same length which can go on the wall for any kind of, I would say coats, but I want to actually have the coats and everything stored in the storage room and instead use the pegboard as more of a styling tool to have like my Neptune bag, maybe some flowers hanging out a bit even to like throw the dog lead on there or something just to have it for um styling as opposed to like huge mountains of coats in there i want to have that room looking lovely so yes that bench is for in there as well as this uh, rustic vintage washboard which i'm going to style up on this side probably so yeah that will come in a future vlog when i get around to doing that i've also had a delivery from uh oh, Grab it. Zara Home. Let's go sit down and open these. Okay, Zara Home. Just a couple of bits that I picked up. Firstly, something that I've already bought before and I've just bought more of. So you will have seen these already, but they're still online. They're still in the sale as well. Um, and I've got loads of them, but I'll show you just this one so you can see. So I'd have to get them all out. But it's these set of two doorknobs draw knobs let me just come in front of the table so i can get a bit closer and show you so they're antique brass with the glass um pull like in a ribbed effect each set is two and i think these are literally three or four pounds for the pair so really affordable and yeah i picked up loads of these because originally i got them to go on my wardrobe doors but i've also got a set of drawers in that room which have four five six seven 
drawer pulls and I have the same set of drawers in our bedroom so I'm switching out all of them so yeah I just ordered a load more of these and then what else did I get oh yeah I forgot I got these little two pack of multi-purpose cloths again super affordable but also add a nice bit of texture to styling up a sink area either in the kitchen with the sage green and the cream or even in the utility room as well so yeah i'm so excited to get that utility room sorted honestly i've had this parcel set to one side to open up with you guys and i'm just remembering what i've actually ordered this was a purchase had i seen i think i've seen this on toby's home i think it was him uh, his account that i saw this on and it's a set that goes on the sink so i'm going to pop this in the kitchen i've currently got a uh just like a little white dish you know the b&m white company dupe tray for four pounds which is lovely it gets a little bit dirty though because the water sat in it so this obviously has the drainage so i thought i would switch it out for this and i could pop that tray somewhere else and then with this you get two of these beautiful glass containers that you can refill so it's always going to look nice and neutral seamless clean and yeah i also love the fact if i just pop these in you can see uh, I also love the fact that this one has a, a little gap in the middle for a sponge, which I have some from Zara Home actually, which I haven't got out yet. So I'll use those ones because again, neutral vibes, you know, they're just like white and brown. So I'll get a clean, fresh cloth to pop in there. Um, not cloth, sponge for the dishes. And yeah, you can see on the glass containers there, I don't know if it's going to focus. That this one we have dishes and this one we've got hands so i'll just decant into these jars the ones that i've currently got the delsford farm ones that, that i've got out on the side at the minute they smell lovely they're clear so they'll go perfectly in here but the bottle itself is plastic and it gets grubby really quickly so it's not actually the most as nice as the product is it's not the most convenient to have left out so to have the have it decanted into these glass bottles, I think will be perfect. And then obviously moving forward, we can just find some budget, budget ones to pop in here. But yeah, I'll need to find, I might struggle to find a dish soap that's uh, clear. Maybe if we go down like an eco-friendly route, they're probably more likely to be clear. But anyway, yeah, my little Zara home purchases that I am in love with let's switch out the prints now i think and see what they look like in the frames and i'm gonna leave your tip i'm gonna leave the glass frame out of the prints so that's the plan Guys, I think these are probably my new favourite prints for the house. How beautiful are these? I, I just went for like a countryside, bring a bit of warmth in, a bit of greenery. And I think these two complement each other so well. So yes, they are going to go either side of the chimney breast under the picture lights. <sighs> so happy with them i can't wait to get them on the wall i have just had this i don't know if this is a bit tmi no it's definitely not i will share this with other girlies out there that maybe struggle when it's their time of the month i typically am not too bad i have to say but recently i have had like the last few periods that i've had i've had like one day in particular, it's usually day two, and like early day two, where I'll have, it feels like it's gonna be the whole day, but it's not, it's usually just a few hours, but I just have the worst cramps that honestly, I was like, oh, and actually the last time I did succumb to taking some paracetamol and ibuprofen, just because, I, was it ibuprofen, ibuprofen, 
just because I was like, I need to just kick this paint. And it did work and I got a hot water bottle and it really helped. And like I said, for me, I am, touch wood, very lucky because all I get really is that day where I suffer with the pain. And as intense as it feels in that moment, it usually does subside after a few hours, especially, like I said, this time that I had ibuprofen. But anyway, in that moment, <laughs> This was advertised to me from my Uvi and I was like, I'm getting it because next month I might be thankful for purchasing this and trying it out. Essentially, I'm sure a lot of you will have been seeing this. I've seen that they've been heavily advertising lately or unless it was just the algorithms listening to me in pain thinking that girl needs this advert and I did because I bought it, but the brand is myubi.co.uk and they essentially are like TENS machines, which I know a lot of women will use throughout labor as a distraction from the cramps that you get, the obviously the contractions. I need some scissors, one second, because I want to open it up. I can't get it open, <laughs> one second. Ooh. And I feel like I'm gonna break a nail if I do it too intensely, little by little, there we go we're in so they do them in i think it's three different shades oh you get two in here okay so you've got a little instruction manual a little that's really handy a little case to keep them in and then this i'm assuming is it two you've got two little sections of which maybe i'm not sure i need to read up how it works but I know this clips onto those little clips there. There you go, you can see the little clips on the back. So that clips on, and then you can attach this to your like area where you're struggling with your cramps. And then the TENS machine essentially helps distract you from your cramp pain to a different feeling. So, it's, so it is a instant relief it should be anyway fingers crossed so i'll try that out next time that i struggle oh ibs cramps it can help with uh if you've got endometriosis it can help with you can also use it on your lower back okay so you have to the the point of i guess getting two of these is that these they last 20 to 30 uses per butterfly they call them interesting so yeah we will give them a go next time i'm struggling and if you want an update on them if you also struggle and you want a bit of a review then i will be more than happy to let you know how i get on with them i also saw these by the door which i picked up did i show you these in the car i feel like i've already shown you them haven't i the grippy socks these are the ones that i've got that I wore today just from amazon i'll leave them linked but yeah how much nicer is this color love them anyway they're the kind of like homey updates that i wanted to share with you i feel like we could do some baking this afternoon i bought a couple of bits that i want to do as like a little bit of an easter bake <gasps> which is very naughty but uh yeah it's easter <laughs> Something's off the way you look and how you pause when you talk. I think you said enough. You said you love for me something brand new. You said this is something you would never do. Here we are in the car. Let me see who you are. Who you really are. are yeah. Don't need you here to say you're sorry. If you're gonna leave me, then just do it Don't 
time to do some baking. In fact, I'm just thinking then, have you seen the olive tree pot? Yeah, this was again, another Amazon purchase. I did open it in a vlog, I think my last one, but I'm not sure if I actually showed it you um, in its home. So yeah, we switched out a little basket that I had from Home Bargains that just felt a bit too small. To be honest with you, even this one could, like we could go bigger with a pot for this olive tree. But for now, I think it's a much better fit than the uh, smaller basket. And um, I've just thrown on top a little, it's actually an old linen tablecloth that I got from Wilco's. It's just plastic, so it's really light, but obviously it's got this kind of like texture to it to make it look like it's a really old, aged, rustic pot. And then that uh, color, seeps down the side here and then stops at that black part there the bucket so i've just kind of covered the black part and um yeah so really really nice definitely uh one that i would recommend getting from amazon i know the range do one similar i don't think it looks as aged as this one and it's a slightly more creamier color but um my range was out of stock so yeah that's why i went on online had a look and i found this one on amazon so yeah again we'll leave linked below this tree is from home bargains quite realistic as far as olive trees go like can you see even the edges of the leaves look as if they're dying <laughs> a little bit and it's a real muted green as well it's not too greeny if that makes sense and then yeah you've just got the odd little random olive again in different colors to make it seem more realistic. So yeah, I really, really like this tray. Let's get on with some baking. I'm gonna bake a super simple recipe. It's, it requires zero effort. So yeah, it's gonna be nice and quick and easy. It's one that I found on TikTok. Ooh, motion detected on our bird fee feeder. It's a little squirrel eating the bird food. You can have a little setting whereby it notifies the, well not notifies, it like plays a uh, white light and some noise or something to get them off. But I quite like seeing the squirrels as well. I know some of you are going to say, no, you should just scare them away so that it's just for the birds, but I'll put plenty out there. I still can't believe Barney actually caught a squirrel once, fully in his mouth, heard the squeal. I was like, what is that noise? He looked at Barney. He's just holding a squirrel in his mouth, head out the one end, screaming, saying, ah, tail out the other. And I just said, oh, Barney, out. And he dropped it straight away and it scurried off. But I see gentle mouth, golden retriever. But I just like, I can't believe he's actually caught a squirrel. All these times he's been chasing squirrels. It was a while ago he, he caught one, but now whenever he chases them, I'm always a bit like, Barney, come back. Um, not too close. Okay, let's have a look. So, Tom and I have this shared WhatsApp recipes chat thing that whenever we find a recipe, we just send it to, oops, we send it to that group so we can always refer back to it. Um, and then just put like a little title so we can search it. So this is the one that I've seen, Easter cream egg balls. Air fryer cream egg croissant fryer. balls. That time of year where you see cream eggs everywhere. So super easy. Just need like a little egg wash. The just roll pastries, which I you, you can use whatever pastry, I guess. Uh, pastry, but I picked up the just roll croissants pastry just for ease and convenience. And then you will also need some cream eggs. Now I. Oh, Oh, we're a cream egg down. I've got quite a few plain cream eggs. I'm not going to do loads because, in fact, I might even, the fact that you can just air fry them, I might even just do one or two now and then keep this. This cream egg box, I've actually already eaten the white chocolate one, but it also comes with two caramel ones and a couple of classic cream eggs.
Very excited to try these. They are looking brown and ready to eat. Let's just go in with this one. I actually can't remember whether this is the cream egg or the caramel one, but we'll give it a try. I mean, you can't get easier than this. This is the cream egg. Oh my goodness. Look at the oozy gooey goodiness. Goodiness. Wow. I have even made myself a nice coffee to have with it. And what an absolute treat. I mean, for ease and convenience, that's gotta be a 10 out of 10. And although cream egg isn't like, I do like a cream egg, but I don't like obsess over them. This, this is an incredible way to eat them. Smells great. I'll give a little review. Go on, try it. Good, right? <sighs> on that note, I feel like I might close off this vlog here. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. Something a little bit different, a bit of balance with the old Pilates this morning, followed by cream egg this I was going to say evening, it's still afternoon. Thanks for spending the day with me. I hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog. I've noticed more and more comments of people asking for like home update videos. So when we get going with the garden in April's time, I will be doing more like renovation style vlogs then showing you the progress. But I also, um, in the meantime, might do at some point an updated house tour, even though there's still bits that I want to finish. I asked you guys on Instagram, do I just wait until it's a fully finished house tour? Or do I show you it now? Because I feel like I've got new viewers that maybe haven't seen it throughout the vlogs and want just an updated house tour. Let me know if that is you and if you would enjoy that. But yeah, as for now, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a lovely rest of your day and I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys.